How to test your home for radon. Hello and welcome to Video Jug. How many of you know how much radon is in your home? You can't see it, smell it, or taste it, but if you are being exposed to it, it can kill you. Radon is the second leading cause of lung cancer in America and takes as many as 21,000 lives a year. Radon is a naturally occurring gas which is released from uranium contained in soil and rocks. It seeps up from the ground and can enter your home environment through porous building materials or leaks in your foundation. To find out if you or your loved ones are being exposed to a dangerous level of it, you will need one EPA-approved short-term charcoal radon kit, one measuring tape, and one pair of scissors. Step 1. Lockdown. Before you can get an accurate sample of the air in your home, you'll need to close all of your exterior doors and all of your windows. Note you will have to keep them closed for at least 12 hours prior to starting your test. Step 2. Your opening act. Now open your kit, if you can. Chances are you'll need a pair of scissors. Inside your kit, you should find two test files, an information card, a pre-addressed envelope for a radon test lab and, depending on the brand of kit you bought, information about payment for the laboratory analysis. Step 3. In the zone. Find a place to conduct your test. This test zone should be where you spend a good amount of time, but it cannot be a kitchen or a bathroom. If you have a basement, consider making that your test zone. You'll also need to find a surface about 20 inches off the floor. Use your measuring tape to make sure. Step 4. Product placement. Place both test vials from your kit about six inches apart and remove the caps from each of the test vials. Step five, hurry up and wait. For the next two to four days, there's nothing you can do but hurry up and wait. Leave the vials undisturbed for at least 48 hours, but not more than 96 hours. Do not move the vials, open any windows, or operate fans or fireplaces. Also, try and avoid opening your doors as much as possible. Step six, Put a lid on it. When enough time has passed, fill out the data card provided by the manufacturer of your kit and make payment if necessary. Put the lids back on the tubes and put everything into the envelope. Step seven, post it. It's recommended that you deliver your sample to the post office within a day so the lab can get as accurate a sample as possible. Step eight, read your results. Your test results will most likely be mailed to you within a couple of weeks. Some companies are set up so you can access your results online. Reading the results of your radon test might be confusing, however. The most important thing to understand is that the amount of radon in the air is measured in picocuries per liter of air. The average indoor radon level is about 1.3 picocuries per liters of air. Most experts believe any level of radon is unsafe, but if your test results come back as 4 picocuries per liter or higher, you should get another kit and redo the test to make sure your results were accurate. Step 9. Get radon active. If the results from your second test come back showing that you have a level of 4 picocuries or higher, the government recommends you take action and have your home fixed. Installing a special vent pipe system and fan is recommended by the EPA. For information on radon or for help finding a professional to either test your house or repair it, consult the Environmental Protection Agency's website www.epa.gov forward slash radon. This should give you all the information you and your loved ones need for a healthier home. Done.